right. Um, today, we are. this is pretty exciting. I'm really excited about this. We're judging our first ever mini painting competition. I've looked through them. I'm really impressed by the quality that I've seen just on a quick glance through. Most of you are better than me, if not all of you. The main judging considerations are painting skill, difficulty, presentation, and we're going for three different winners. We're gonna have a theme champion, which is chosen based on the best depiction of the theme, Rising from the Ashes. A best painted champion will be chosen exclusively based on painting skill, and a best in show champion will be chosen based on the best execution of the theme, combined with painting skill, difficulty, and presentation. And there's three of us, me, the other Mike, and then Lindsay, our creative director, who's a hell of a painter herself. So uh, it should be pretty interesting. And I'm excited to see how our votes kind of coalesce and uh, to see how much on the same page we are. You ready, Mike? Let's go. <laughs> how many minis have you painted? I have painted six, negative five minis. Negative five minis? I've never painted a miniature. Okay. So I will be de facto expert on all of these and I'll be making the final decision, so you're welcome. Those who can't do, judge. Yes. <laughs> all right. So we have entry number one, and everybody got to give us a little artist's description of their mini. This is a druid named Ash from her nearly year-long campaign. She literally rose from the ashes after being exiled from the Feywild when she was accused of burning down her village. That sucks. She now travels with a group of adventurers to prove herself worthy of one day returning home. This is cool, I love the colors. She's got like a phoenix rising out of her right hand. Um, yeah, it's really good quality. I'd like to see more attention to the base, maybe a little more shading, uh, a little more washes and a little more blending, but overall really good composition, pretty tightly painted. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good start. Enter number one, do, do, do. Number one, this looks like my cousin Megan. I will give it six eggs. Entry number two. Wow, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, Ares, the hunger, rises from the ashes of his latest conquest. Though young, this dragon has an all-consuming ambition that propels him to higher challenges and greater plunder, much like his ash-colored wings carry him across troubled skies. Adventures beware, the rise of Ares can only mean fire and ruin for us all. I think my brothers are both Ares. I'd say that's true. Uh, the blending, this is killer. It's a killer sculpt. I know that's not part of what we're judging. Uh, the blending on the wings is fantastic. Love to see more dry brushing to highlight some of the wings, but really consistent painting technique throughout. I'm just not crazy about these clear bases. I know I'm not judging entry number two on this, but the clear bases that many, many companies are putting out now, they're just a little, they take away from the aesthetic a little bit for me. I'd like to see those hidden a little bit more, but really strong painting, good, great variation on the wings, good blending like to see maybe more of that in the body and a little more shadow shown, but really nice overall. Number two, this is definitely some sort of terrier, <laughs> uh, and there's some fire going on. It's cool, I like dogs, so it's gonna be 96 cents. Yeah, this is certainly a step up from what I can do. Entry number three, this was painted as part of an encounter or a party faced off with a dragon that rose out of lava filled portal to the plane of fire. Our bard was killed, but our cleric revived him, though the first breath of light he took was one full of ash. And that's where all bards should reside. Uh, dead, as far as I'm concerned, just kidding. Um, the, it, this is really, this is excellent quality. It's a really nice paint job. The difficulty's high. Uh, the blending throughout, looks like it started with an airbrush, I'm hoping, because if not, the blending is so much better than mine that you'll make me sick. Um, it's, it's really cool. It's a cool sculpt and yeah, I like every part of this. This is going to be tough. So, entry three. So now I'm going to rate it one to ten, and we're going to put all our scores together after and see who gets what. Um, really nice job, number three. Proud of you, whoever you are. Number three. This also looks like a terrier. Um, maybe he's horking up like something he ate earlier. Uh, he seems upset, but it's very cool. Does that fit the um, theme? Yeah, throwing up the phoenix, moving into the the future by vomiting out something you ate before that was really bad tasting. Uh, yeah, this one's this one's actually pretty cool. I, I dig this one a lot. Uh, I'm gonna give it two light speeds. Entry four, Beholder. From the ashen dreams of Mad Men's Mind's Eye, this nightmarish aberration rips forth 
erupts forth, leaving anyone who gazes upon it forever changed. Alien and formed function, its violent, paranoid delusions feed its ever-expanding toxic intellect. It sounds like you, Cameron. Um, it's really nice, really nice beholder. I see a lot of these on Facebook groups. Uh, beholder is obviously one of the one of the most famous, iconic monsters. Um, really nice. Looks like a little bit of gloss and highlights in the gum line, which I like. I think those teeth are excellently done. They're kind of eroded and disgusting, certainly stained. I like the color of the beholder as well, and the different color and kind of this mauve purple that uh, they're putting in the beholder stalks and the eye stalks. Uh, it's really nice. Again, I'd like to see a little more dry brush, a little more highlight. I'm really sensitive to kind of light and, and where it comes from. And uh, having a really strong source lighting, I think it's a really powerful way to make minis pop, especially on the table. Uh, but this is really good quality. Maybe some of these back kind of spines and spikes coming out of the base certainly could use a little bit more dry brushing on the top, but really nice piece. Number four. <laughs> this looks a lot like a girlfriend I had once. Um, super cool. I like the, the, the tentacle boys and the pointy boys and the toothies. Uh, I'll give this one bacon and eggs. Entry five. Oh, another amazing dragon. Uh, entry five, there are two, two types of pain, one that hurts you and the other that changes you. Pick one. It's interesting. You know, it's tough. We're judging these on theme. I get a red dragon, but then the art statement doesn't really... It's, it's interesting because it touches on the theme of rising from the ashes. Um, it's just interesting. It, you know, that's 2020 in a nutshell. Is it is it a year that's going to hurt us overall or one that's going to change us overall? And that's kind of left to be seen, right? The painting on this is remarkable. I love the color changes in the back of the wings. There's little highlights of orange. You can see it really well on the front left shoulder um, where that, hot, that deep kind of almost maroony red turns to a brighter red and then to a bright orange. Beautiful. A lot of people just use white for highlights and white and red as a highlight material don't, as highlight colors don't work really well together. Use yellow, use orange to highlight reds and it'll, it'll give it a much more effective color transition. Uh, it looks really good though. I love the black on the bottom of the wings inside and out. Really strong tension to the base. Really nice, really nice piece. Number five, this is clearly another dog um, that's prickly, he's not throwing up. Um, so I like that. Uh, Rank's pretty high with the dogs. I, I do like the posture of this one. And there's colors, you can put colors on things and it makes the color go into my eyes. So this will be 18 oranges. How am I gonna reconcile oranges with my don't, white system? Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm, I'll make the final decision. All right. Entry six. This is pretty killer. Um, right away, I'm kind of, I'm just awestruck by it. I think it's really good. Uh, my background is as a field zoologist, where the closest thing to everlasting life is the propagation of genes. In that sense, each new generation is the reborn version of their descendants. So my rising from the ashes model features a phoenix-like creature leaping to the defense of its newly hatched young, casting up a wall of flame and leaping forward to it, attack an unseen threat. Whether or not the parent survives the conflict, it'll be reborn again as its hatchlings grow and find their way into the world. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I didn't even see the young. There's the egg. Wow, that egg is amazing. Plant's nicely done, but what I'm really drawn to is, is kind of the, the fur that make up this kind of griffin, phoenix-like creature. And then the really stunning part of this painting is the, the wings. And anybody that's painted minis knows that getting wings to look like this is, that's a hell of a task. And this is just masterful kind of control to be able to put those little like white lines, alternating lines of like the, a beige and a gray is, is pretty remarkable. Uh, this one's certainly going to get high marks for me. We'll see how the other people vote. I like the theme too. I'm not crazy about the white on the bottom of the fire, but that's really nitpicky. Um, all the rest is, is really nicely done. Yeah, looks looks amazing. Entry six. Really nice artist description too. I think that it fits the theme very well. Number six. Ooh, this is another angry cat. 
and there's something's on fire. Uh, there's some kind of some kind of really weird phallic plant in the foreground too. That's that's a winner. Winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah, that's super killer. Like the wings, the feathers on the wings look like feathers. I'm gonna give this a half an owl. Entry seven, interesting. It's kind of like a ghast or a wraith um, with a sword in his hand, nicely painted. Uh, not every phoenix rises from ashes and all that rise are reborn. With a green flame of unnatural life, the Karn wraith arises with grim business to attend to. Yeah, that's really nice. Really, it's tough to work within this very limited palette and they've really done a nice job kind of implying shadow in the back changing to kind of more of highlights on it. Um, I like how the sword kind of continues that palette and the oddness of the hand within that palette. I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more range of colors when I taught when I taught painting at the university. I always told people to kind of push their color palette a little bit and it could be even more surprising than you think it can. So a green tinted with purple as it goes into the shadow areas really strong especially on small minis that can really help it pop a lot but there's really nice shadow there's good value contrast throughout yeah i like it quite a bit i'm curious about it fitting into the theme uh, it seems a little horseshoe in there but a really nice mini number seven uh this is definitely a nazgul so he wins one hobbit short sword Entry eight. Oh, this is cool. I wish the photos were a little better on eight. We all face a choice in life. We can either be burned by the fire or become transformed by the flames. I choose to be transformed. It's nice. Uh, it's a hellhound, not a hellhound, uh, a horse, uh, a fire horse. I can't remember the name right now. I see a lot of this mini online. I even saw one with LEDs in it. Um, it's nicely done. The metallics are interesting. They're effective. It almost gives it like a statuesque appearance, but it's uh it's nice. I wish the pics were a little bit better because I can't tell if this is shine coming from the back of it. Like on the left pic, there's almost like a purpley shine to it. Um, but a nice painting. I like that it's a little more abstract and diaphanous all the way through. Number eight is a horse that got stabbed a lot um, and looks like it may or may not be bleeding to death. Um, that's going to get three sheep and half a cow. All right, number nine. Fallen from grace, he is no longer the light bearer. He rises from literal ash and brimstone, the prince of hell, father of lies, adversary to the creator. That's heavy duty. Interesting painting. Love the lava work on the base. I like the transitions in the wings. I wish they were a little smoother. They feel a little harsh to me. Uh, we talk about this when we do Valhalla screens. We don't want that kind of lines of demarcation in between it. Just a nice smooth blend. But it's, but it's effective and I'm guessing a lot of times when you take pics of minis, they, it shows off some of the tinier details that when you're seeing it from a table, you wouldn't see. So the armor is incredible. Love the color. Love that kind of like pale teal blue moving to, into the silver and the purple little accents. And that face is hella good. Um, freehand, I'm sure that's freehand applied. That's, that's a son of a bitch to do right there. So nice job, number nine. Number nine, whoa. That's pretty wild. It looks like one of those Indian gods with multiple arms. Um, like the swords. This is gonna be a full Drizzt Duerden. All right, number 10. I'm not gonna read all this, it's long. I'll read it to myself, but I won't read it for this. So it's an ally to, to for the party for one of the games of Vedia. The Dragonborn Phoenix Sorcery Sorcerer who didn't know their parents were, it turned out to be parents of this PC or an ancient red dragon and a phoenix. Wow, nice transitions on the wings. Love the color. I'd love to see a little more shade to make that color pop a little bit, um, but I really like the transitions. A little bit of gapping there, not a big deal, but that is part of the, the judging the presentation, right? Really nice painted mini. I especially like that outer rim of feathers. You can see where the, the shade that was dropped in picks it up quite a bit. Really nice. Impressive work. We're not even halfway through. I'm already very impressed. Number 10. This looks like another flying um, animal creature thing that is a bird. Um, I think it's on fire. So we're going to give it uh, three fire trucks. 
11. All right, this is killer. 11's pretty good. Uh, this majestic bird not only is reborn from the ashes of its former self, but the very forest itself will be reborn. The charred logs and burnt grass will yield a forest of green. Perfect on theme. So the thing that gets me right away is, is the OSL, the object source lighting on this piece. So that's, that's light that comes from something other than natural lighting or light source, that the object itself is the source. So very tough to do. Um, and this person can do it much better than I can. I like the theme a lot. I love all the variation in the, in the color and the body of the Phoenix and those dark tips on the wings is really quite good. Uh, you can see the OSL on the ground is where it really shows off. A little bit on the trunk too, which is really nice. It's just very difficult. I'm really impressed. Uh, this will be a, this will get high marks for me as well. Really nice. Can't stop staring at it. Number 11. Holy shit. That's really freaking cool. Um, it's, wow. It's like a, a big hummingbird that's got fire coming out of its cloaca and it's simultaneously landing on its cloaca fire while attacking a small rodent or a big rodent or person. Um, yeah, that's super cool. I'm going to give this one five cigarettes. Number 12. In death, the phoenix scorches the earth, purging all life from existence. This death allows for new life to form and rise from the ashes. This phoenix chose a human form and will carry rebirth in her wake. Interesting. I like the base a lot. I like this kind of natural grass feel to it. I like the skin color choice. It almost feels like ghostly, ghastly to me. Some of the blending could be handled a little bit better, but really, it's a really nice mini. And that kind of tail end of the cloak, where it transfers from like that black to a rich crimson to a yellow is really nicely done. This even touches on the base a little bit of some more kind of flame-like material. It's hard to see in the pics, but really nice. Number 12, this looks vaguely like Mayan to me. I like it. Reminds me of that movie. I can't remember. Uh, there's lots of neat variations and colors here. This is cool. I like the little sticky holdy scimitar cut face thing. Um, I'll give this one two antlers. Entry 13, uh, another griffin. The griffin is the perfect embodiment of hope, remembrance, and perseverance. The lion half represents the past burned and scarred. Fiery Phoenix half represents new life and growth, with the Phoenix at the front of the creature gives us the hope that we too can rise from the ashes of the past and persevere. Yes, here's to that. Wow, you guys are much better on wings than I am. I can really say that pretty staunchly. I just don't have the patience for some of this kind of subtle transitioning. So while I might be sound like I'm judging harshly, I'm, I'm very impressed. And most of these are above my skill level, so. Um, Really cool. Oh, that's a great top-down view. Love the shadow as it goes onto the inside curve on that picture on the left. I'd like to see that even more. And then the body, I, I, I think the body is well done, but I'd like to see maybe some more shadows brought out of it, especially on that bottom. Because if you think about it, like it, it's held against the light by that body and it should be really kind of really dark under there. And that contrast would push up the color of the wings really nicely. But overall, really good. Number 13, uh, here's another fiery half dog bird cat thing. Um, might be an owl as well. It's also a feathers and it's, it's on fire. I'm gonna give it half a bucket of water. 14, this is interesting, a different take. Charged with protecting Phoenix in their dying days, these monks will follow their ancestor for weeks in their search for suitable resurrection ground. Upon paying their respects to the recently departed, the fire surfers join in the pyroclasmic rebirth by riding the columns of flames in a celebratory ritual performed for centuries. That is a mouthful, but I like the thought. So this is a monk that would protect the phoenix, the fire sur sur surfers. Really interesting. I love the variations in that color green, moving to almost a lime yellow. I'd like to see that pushed up even a little bit more, just to give it more pop. And then, you know, difference is the key. Like, try and make everything a little bit different. And I think that 
same green going through the body just feels a little too monotonous to me uh, but it's painted really well it's really tight clear lines between each color as you go down the, that right arm and uh, really good blending just like to see more highlights and the top of the wings feel I, I get it I think they're kind of getting lit by the flames underneath but it feels a little dark on top or not lit from below enough but a really good thought and I love this base I love how the magma flames kind of turn into almost a coal on the bottom. Number 14. This might be plant of some sort. Oh, oh I see. It's um, a fiery tentacle coming out of the ground attacking a hummingbird. Um, so this one is going to get four beehives. All right, entry 15. Out of the ashen embers rises the phoenix not undone but reborn a new beauty with an old soul that's a killer phoenix this is kind of like what i expected to get uh when we set it off when we started this competition it's really nice blending on the wings i love how that color on the the picture of the back you can see that color kind of fades down into the tail feathers of the phoenix as well a little more shadow on the bottom side would be good but uh, really nicely painted, really good blending. That's hard to do. So hats off to you, number 15. Um, nice consistency all the way through, good color changes. This thing probably looks amazing on a table. Nice work. Number 15, I feel like this is cheating because there's effects in this one, there's smoke. So um, I'm gonna throw this one away. This just picks without smoke. Oh, oh, there we go. Picks without, okay. All right, I'm gonna give this one Two smoke bombs. Number 16. This is an interesting departure from what we've seen so far. The night has become endless as ash blots out the sun. All that remains of the once mighty forest is ash and ember. As the lava begins to cool, the dryad bursts forth to breathe new light into the ashen world. That's interesting take. I'd, I'd like this idea that the dryad kind of is born out of the ash. It's a really different take on the thought. The, the painting is is remarkable in, in certain spots. Some other spots it doesn't hold up quite as well. It feels a little flat like in the face, but this is, this is really nitpicking. Overall, I really love this model. And going down, looking at the legs, that's insane. Getting that, that kind of red, almost like white hot as it nears the bottom of the legs and even affects some of the stone around it. And then if you look from the, the pick on the back, it's, it's a really cool take on the theme, and I, I think it's different and interesting overall. That's a really nice piece and different, and I love the base. Love the base, love the kind of molten lava in it. Really nice work. 16. This one looks a lot like my wife. Arr, leafy and fiery and coming out of a horrible fiery crevice in the ground. Um, this will get 8,600 pentagrams. 17. 17. Off of your take on rising from the ashes that I'm sure you'll agree with. 2020 was a rough year for everyone, from layoffs and uncertainty to losing time with friends and loved ones. Yes, correct. I wanted to represent the burning dumpster fires best I could in the new year rising up from the ashes. So I present to your tribunal the dumpster fire minic. And a pick on a dumpster. I, I like it. Dumpster on a dumpster. Uh, the smoke is interesting. <laughs> the googly eyes is nice as well. So this looks looks handmade. Oh, and there's a oh, there's a character sheet too. Oh, that's great. It's adhesive. That's great. That's unfair. The mimic once per round gets to take an extra turn because it wants to. That's great. Oh, really nicely done. I like the smoke. I'd like to see him a little bit more billowy, and I, it's a great idea. Oh, that's tough. How do we how do we vote based on theme? This is this is tough. Nice work. I'm I'm at a loss for words. Number seventeen. Uh, nicely done. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> seventeen. The dumpster fire mimic. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's even stats and everything. Holy cow. Um, yeah, this this one's the winner, clearly. It's a winner. 
five pieces of fresh trash and a load of compost. Number 18. The mini I painted is from the game Rising Sun. Yes, good game. Uh, I've painted some minis from that as well. They're amazing. Uh, which is fitting with the Phoenix's origin. I wanted to take the theme literally so my Phoenix wings are flaming and she is rising out of fire and ash. I also felt like rising from the ashes indicates new beginning, so our outfit is green and gold to represent rebirth and new life. Interesting. I love the minis from this game. If you paint minis and you haven't checked it out, check it out because they're incredible. Uh, really bold color. Love the color choices. Love to see more shadow to make those colors pop and to give it a little bit more realism, but I, I really like the bright palette all the way through. And I think just a, like a sepia wash over some of that metal would make it feel a little bit more like metal. I'd love that it's on ashes, basically. Great. Really strong on the theme. Good work. 18. I think this is the same figure that someone painted before. Yeah. Rising sun. Cool. Uh, this is a phoenix person um, that maybe has their their feet melted together. Um, however, their cape appears to be alive. So that's cool. Um, there's, there's like some green foliage growing on the person, um, which I like. And the hair is really tall and high. Kind of reminds me of like when you stare in the sun too long and you get those sunspots and then everything like has a big dot in front of it. So I'm going to I'm going to rate this one two sunspots, one for each eyeball. All right, 19. This is a really cool Phoenix. The Phoenix newly risen with ashes swirling around it. It's a cool mini. I haven't seen that one before and I checked some out when we started this contest. So it's exciting to see new ones. I love some of the color transitions. This is kind of more similar to how I actually paint, which is a little more kind of heavy handed on the transitions. I'm, I'm probably too impatient for blending a lot of time, but you do a better job of blending than I do. Uh, looks really cool. I'd like to see more like brighter colors in it. It feels a little washed out in hue and saturation, but other than that, it's a really cool painting job. I love how the focus is kind of right on the middle. Really interesting. I like the claws a lot too. That base is killer. A little dry brush with different color to make it feel like magma. I'm gonna steal that. Really nice. Oh, the back is amazing. I think it, if the front had what the back did, I think this would be a killer, killer piece. I can see how that would be tough to do, though, with all the kind of jagged edges on the on the front, inside, interior of the wings. Oh, the back's gorgeous. Love to see it a little brighter red, just at the tips of the wings, but really nice work. All right, entry 19. Holy cow, this looks photoshopped. It's splendid. Whoa. It also is a some form of bird with a fiery uh, expression from its anal glands. Uh, actually kind of looks like my dog Chewy a little bit, because Chewy, Chewy expresses her anal glands a lot. Um, oh, that's really cool. The back is neat too, I like that. I'm gonna give this one um, two dogs and half puppy. Number 20, this is interesting. The eagle is rising from the ashes of 2020. If it can't escape, the flame overtakes it 2020 style. Yes, true. If it gets out unscathed, it becomes an eagle. That's really killer. Oh, I love this kind of metal color on the front of the wings and how that's dry brushed over the, the mid wing area, mid wing area. Just made that up. Oh, yeah, looks great. Really nice piece. Good shadow on the bottom. I'd like to see it even a little bit darker underneath. Really nice piece. Good attention to the base. Uh, yeah, really strong. Interesting take too. I like having this eagle that, that actually has part of a phoenix coming from it. Very nice. Number 20, this is, this is clearly um, a water jet holding a bird, hitting a bird from a pool of fiery water. Um, so this one, uh, I think, you know, looks like the birds in pain, um, probably because it just got smoked by hot water. Uh, I'll give this one two cups of tea. 21, this is interesting. Bomb shelters, underground stockpiles, military facilities, and laboratories. These places are supposed to make us feel safe. Today, those places lie buried beneath the rubble and destruction of the Great War, sealed and abandoned. Some of us who are clever can make a fortune recovering the lost technologies that lie beneath our feet, but some secrets are better left buried beneath the ashes. Jeremiah, Dogmite, Tribe Elder. I hope this isn't Dogmite Jeremiah, because he can't enter. Or he can, he can, but he can't win. 
It's a nice piece. It's really well painted. Looks like a Warhammer piece, maybe. Um, it's really kind of cool. I'm, I'm not sold on it thematically, although there is some kind of magma on the base. It's a really killer piece. Really beautiful metal. Metal painted and really intricate. High marks on painting skill and difficulty. Just not sure if it fits the theme as how I see it. And I, I get the artist statement. I just, I don't know, it feels a little, a little wrenched in there. But very nice piece. 21, uh, this appears to be some sort of uh, monster centipede with a tail that has guns and there's a tiny human that it's ingesting. Uh, it appears to be stomping things. I don't know what this has to do with the Phoenix, but I like it. Um, violence, it gets 10 violence. Next. Entry 22, another fan. This is the same Phoenix that we saw earlier. Sparklers on the pick. It's a plus two for presentation right there. Nicely painted. Wow, this, this model's gotta be a bitch to paint. Bursting from a cloud of smoke, this Phoenix burns brighter than ever. The blue light around its heart and beak is a beacon displaying the creature's high energy frequency. With its powerful wings outstretched, the phoenix rises to the heavens, ready to act as a beacon of inspiration for countless individuals. That's really cool. Feels a little overall too gold for my taste. I'd like to see a little more variation. Love the blue though, especially in the chest. Just little touches of blue that go all the way through it. That beak is certainly bright. The base is nicely done. I'd like to see a little more. I need darks. I, I, I always try to start with the darkest dark and then build up from there to always give a strong contrast in anything that you paint. And that would really set this thing up. Whoa. 22. This also looks like a similar copy reproduction. And there appears to be, I think I think this thing is in war. There are, does it look like anti-aircraft guns? I don't know, but it seems like it's really close to the ground. So it could be flat cannons, I don't know. Um, that, that thing's definitely, definitely writhing in pain trouble um i give that one flying spaghetti monster 23 <laughs> this is a different take on the theme the town folk thought their problems were over once they buried the witch they shouldn't have picked such a popular graveyard oh that's great love the gore it, i it, technically it is rising from the ashes certainly on the other side of the kind of the spectrum of of hope but i guess this witch would be Hopeful if she could rise out of the ground and come again to terrorize town folk. Um, it's nicely painted. It's a little rough around the edges, which I think fits that mini quite well. Love the gore. Just love to see it a little bit tighter. Um, I don't. I don't know if those if the pupils are red. That I guess that is, but it's hard to tell. So just a little bit more tight. But I like the kind of freedom with which you approach painting, and the color scheme is really quite nice. Weird, weird model. Oh, the back of the cloak is really quite quite well done. 23, uh, this is a humanoid that has an exposed rib cage um, and appears to be missing some fingers on one hand. Um, and maybe it might be a vampire, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe he like reached into his own chest and ripped his skin off in frustration because he was looking for, like, he poured himself a bowl of cereal and then realized that he was out of milk. You know how that happens? And you just want to, like, rip the skin off your chest and stop existing. Um, so yeah, I'll give this guy... Hmm. Five golf balls. 24. The base is literally from the ashes, as this is the sport of the 3D print turned base. As I painted this, I can only think of the new Phoenix from the old PLA that gets discarded. The Phoenix is an iconic color scheme to set the imagination ablaze, as in the Rising from the Ashes screen. Nicely done. Colors are amazing. They really are amazing on this. I, I haven't seen, this is the brightest of any of the models that we have submitted, which is insane. And I love that yellow is the base going to the red really makes it stand out. I'd like to see a little more variety in color. Um, oh, that base is killer though. I love the side view of the base. It almost looks like like craters or like the Grand Canyon that's on fire. Really nicely done. A little more shadow. I, I know this thing is ablaze, but even then, flames create shadow in themselves. 
<laughs> nice work, 24. My lucky number, too. 24. Uh, this is clearly Charizard, uh, so disqualified. 25. Ooh, Osiris. My inspiration for this piece started with the Egyptian deity of resurrection, Osiris. Keeping in mind the theme rising from the ashes, I imagined an icon themed around fire and rebirth and married that with a personal favorite modern fantasy, avian humanoids. With hook and flail and lapis lazuli wings, this phoenix born is ready to claim his birthright as pharaoh. Sounds like a really cool PC to play. I like the kind of traditional color scheme of this. Uh, blue and white mixed with gold feels very Egyptian to me. And uh, the body's really interestingly done. I'd like to see a little more shadow, a little tightening up on the lines, but really bold kind of take on it. And then maybe some more washes on the gold as well, just to make it kick up a little bit. Remember, you can dry brush gold, like a different variation of gold, over the mid-range gold that you chose here to really pick it up. You might have done that, I just can't really tell if this is highlights I'm seeing from the photo or from the paint itself. Love the wings, though. Really killer. I would play this PC. I think that you should you should play this PC. Uh, 25 is some sort of Birdman. Uh, it has, I don't know if those are pistols. Yeah, definitely it's got pistols, it's flank pistol bird person. Uh, so two Rick and Mortys. 26, the Phoenix Reborn rising from their ashes ablaze with new life. This is impressive already. That's really cool. I love the color transitions. Feels a little glossy. I'd prefer like a matte finish um, over top of it. I think, especially if you're doing flesh, I know this doesn't apply here, but Doing flesh using a matte finish will make it feel a little bit more realistic. The gloss kind of makes it feel more like a toy than, than a, a sculpture. Uh, the painting transition's beautiful. Love the neck right underneath the beak. That orange kind of highlighted by yellow in certain spots going into more like a deepish, ruddier red. Really nicely done. Painting's tight. I like the little yellow touches on the shoulder flames there. I'd like to see that blended a little bit better. But really, God, I feel I feel terrible to criticize anybody here, but it's a competition, so I have to be. Um, please don't take it at heart. I, I, every single one of you should continue painting and do really well, because that's insane. Oh, the back pick's killer. Really nice work. 26, this is also a Charizard, um, so it's disqualified. 27. Peace, patience, wisdom, and redemption. These are the tenets of an Oath of Redemption Paladin. Capable of channeling protective spirits to mend their wounds when deeply wounded in battle, they rise against adversity in battle. They also offer a new path or a better way of life to lost souls who others would sooner put in the ground. I choose to represent this concept of the radiantly golden celestial paladin. Protective wings shining with iridescent glitter and gliding upwards from a charred ashen base. That's cool. Paladin fits thematically. I like it a lot. Love the color transitions. I really, I'm in love with this model. I think it's really killer. I think a little more careful blending on, on the wings. And I don't know, just maybe the yellow's a little too all over. I'd like to see a little bit more variation in the yellow. But the shading's great. I love the look of the armor. I love the, I love the model. I love the face on this thing. Really well done. Nice job. Uh, 27. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, looks pretty cool. I like Goku. Uh, this one has um, yellows and reds and looks like he's in pain, maybe. Um, yeah, I would give him 8,000 Super Saiyan points. Alright, wow. Alright, this is the last one and we're finishing strong. 28. The Lord of Change is a daemon from Warhammer. As its name implies, its work is to bring about change into the world and have a new world rise from the ashes. To quote the wiki, nothing pleases him more than to see the world broken and made anew. I see few other things symbolize change and rebirth quite as well as the Lord of Change, and I'm happy that this paint job and mini were able to rise from the ashes on my original goal to create something I'm proud of. Well, you should be proud of this, because that's amazing. Uh, the color transitions throughout, the freehand work on the book, um, love kind of the non-metal metal going on in the blue you can see the highlights like in the post that's holding up the book right below it um that's really really well done probably one of the more difficult models that we've seen uh the freehand book is insane uh this is gonna be really tough 
love to see that blue change a little bit throughout just as it even if it's the same blue armor throughout it's still going to change in appearance as it moves throughout light and in different situations but wow 28 uh this looks like some sort of shaman that's on fire that maybe like his his mom was a shaman and his dad was a firebird um and then he was the result so i'll give this one two fireworks that was amazing thank you guys so much for all your entries um i have Lindsay's numbers i have mine cameron actually did fill out a number system based on our, our reporting system um i will tally those and get back to you i think there's so many good ones we're going to give away some honorable mentions and some gift cards to them as well even if cameron disagrees oh free free uh hp trackers free hp trackers for yeah. all all no, for the honorable mentions. All right, for the honorable mentions. All right, sounds good. Thank you guys so much. We're going to post the results on our Discord channel on Thursday afternoon. So check it out there. There's a Phoenix open thread on the Dogma Discord channel. Awesome. Thanks so much. We're going to do this again. <laughs>Before every session, add an extra 300 gold to your character's inventory. Go ahead, you deserve it. After level 7, make it 3000.